Hi everyone, so we're a little late starting this morning. Um, I had some technical issues um, with my microphone. You could see me, but you couldn't hear me. So we, we've got that sorted now, thankfully. So I have got the wonderful Emma Burford on with me from uh, Business Rocks Academy and from the, um, she, uh, well, Emma to introduce herself. She does lots of different things. So I'm delighted to call Emma a friend, but she's also someone that really inspires me in the business world as well. So Emma, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you, Wendy. You're definitely a friend. <laughs> we often chat, don't we, and help each other out. So that's what it's all about. Um, and I actually met you probably, well, I've never physically met you, but maybe a couple of years ago now we kind of connected online. So, and that's how I think many of us um, business owners online connect. You know, we just come across people and build that relationship. So um, I've been working online since about 2008, 2009. And currently I have two businesses. One is for mums and that's the mums business directory, which I've been uh, the founder and creator for the last five years. That's so been going some time now. And uh, in 2013, in October, I created a digital magazine app. And that's now over two years old called Business Rocks. And that's for women in business who um, want to find out all the great tips and tricks and watch some videos inside a digital magazine app and uh, that has so that's how we we connected because Wendy I think at some point must have either come to me or perhaps I came across her online I'm not sure and uh, she's written some articles for the Business Rocks website which is fantastic so yeah uh, I have a, an academy for business women as well and um, I love being online and obviously supporting other women in business so yeah that's a sort of quick summary of what I'm doing at the moment Cool. And I mean, I, you, I absolutely love what you do, Emma, because I mean, I'm certainly passionate about putting people out there, you know, so like my business isn't just about me. I like to, you know, to do things like this so that people who are following me get to you. And, you know, I like to do that. I've just started a series of blog interviews, uh, obviously on the blog. Um, and when I spoke to you about it, you said, you prefer to do it so like in this sort of style so that's what we're doing which I think is absolutely great um but um but I love sort of like helping people get seen in business and that's definitely what you're doing through the magazine and through your academy I love the academy so much it's brilliant well, I love the magazine but I, I, I think the academy is just one of those things it's going to grow and grow and grow isn't it Yes, it's a collaboration and, you know, it, people need somewhere where they feel they can be supported, especially when they're starting out and they maybe have a small business and they don't have um, a big um, wallet full of money to spend on some of the bigger courses that are around. And, you know, going back to um, why I wanted to do it on a video is because I think it's really important for us to become a bit more visible. And I don't really like writing. And I know I told you that it's not that I, I can't write. I, I do write, but um, it's something that... Um, I prefer to do. I'd rather sit and talk to someone and get to know people and obviously share what we're talking about with other people online. Um, and, you know, you can't be good at all things. I, I can write, but it's not something that I choose to do. That's probably why I've always been a, a content creator and a collaborator. And actually with the magazine, obviously, it's all about putting things together and um, pulling other people in and, you know, being able to share what they do. So, yeah, that's what I'm best at. So it's better to stick at what you're best at, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. I'm just I'm just trying to um, type in the. Um, I hope you can't hear me type in. A little bit, but you probably can hear me if I ever do. So I, I'm, I'm just I'm just going to type in the um, the link for people to go to the academy. Go and okay, check it out. Put that at the end. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah so I've, I've been online, I guess now, um, 2008 quite a long time and I, I started doing that when my daughter just started um, primary school so um, and prior to that up until having children I was um, worked in the travel industry for a long time and did sales and marketing and got to see many wonderful countries so I feel very grateful because I did do a lot of traveling so that kind of I didn't have children till I was 31 so I'm, I'm 48 now so I kind of um, 
did a lot of life things beforehand, which obviously is really good. You know, some people do it the other way around. You know, they have their kids and then they go back to work or they go off traveling. So, yeah, so yeah. it's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you sort of like answered my next question. Oh, did I? Think, which is, yeah. How long have you been in business? <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know, I know you did send me the questions, Wendy, but I didn't look at, I looked at them when they came through. But yeah, no, as Wendy fine. knows, last night my internet was down from five o'clock and it got to about 10 o'clock. I thought, I'm going to bed. There's no point being online. Um, I was tired anyhow. So um, I don't often work in the evenings. Um, I try not to because my children are older. So when they were little, it was much easier to do that. But now they're older, they're around, there's things going on and activities and homework and you know so that they go to bed the same time as we do now so usually about 11 o'clock so <laughs> pretty late but um yeah so I didn't have any internet so I haven't you know I haven't gone through all your questions I think sometimes the kind of you know it's it's good to just go with the flow um yeah but yes I've been online um seven years now so yeah cool some time um, this this is like a follow on to that question. It was like a two part question. It was, you know, what made you want to start your own business in the first place? Um, do you know, I think I was just a little bit brain dead at that stage. It, you know, it's going back now, but you know, I'd gone through. I've got three children, so I'd gone through um, ten years of um, bringing up children. Um, and I, I came across um, Nigel Bottrell's, um business at the time and I, I went into that route I've, I've actually had a couple of his businesses one was a chocolate um, wrapping because I was quite creative and crafty and that's really what got me started because I was into Twitter very early on and um, was having been in a sort of business at sales and marketing being very used to being on the phone and on the computer for a long time so that kind of um side of the computer side of it really kind of drew me in so and then obviously twitter comes along and you know everyone's chatting and i just could see the potential for that so i've always been very involved in the social media side of it and taken a lot of courses with mari smith who everyone will know from facebook and and taken some of her coaching courses so and i did look at doing sort of social media management because Nigel's um, course um, was on social media management but I just felt at that time I didn't want to be drawn out of the home to go um, and, and see clients outside and, and so that's when I actually created my first directory business because I thought that was something I could do online all the time but still be here when I needed to be so yeah. Yeah I mean I, I, I love the you know, obviously, my son's at home as well. You know, one of your sons is sort of like a similar age to my son. He's fourteen, and um, and I just love that whole thing of, you know, just just being here whenever he needs me. He's actually off school today. Um, he's got a bit of a tummy bug, and I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to go into some mad panic. You know, phoning on. A boss, you know, can I please have the day off? Or, you know, I mean, 14, he's probably all going to stay on his own. But, you know, when you don't feel very well, it's not very nice, is it? So, you know, that's something that's always been a driving force for me to always be here, you know, for my son. So that, you know, we can, and it's nice to be able to sort of work around them as well. Yeah, now, I know I think... that you don't, you don't particularly like working in the evenings, and I don't either. But, you know, sometimes, you know it happens doesn't it and you know he's got well, pain on his xbox and things like that and though it, it's just easy to jump on isn't it yeah to be honest i, I would like working in the evenings more because i'm actually a more of a natural night owl and when i started my businesses back in 2008 2009 up to probably about three years ago, I was staying up and doing, you know, the late shift till one o'clock often. So, mm -hmm. um, and I've done that um, at least two or three times with different business um, businesses that I've been starting up and put the hours in. But as, as I say, the children have got older now, my eldest is 17. So it's kind of the shifts change, the priorities change. And um, I'm sure once they all um, head off out of here, if they ever do, <laughs> they're getting very comfortable sometimes but then you know I can actually then work at night more often which is something that I actually do really like I don't know what it is at night I think it's because even though a lot of the business women I deal with are in the, the states but for some reason at night it just goes a bit quieter and I just find that my brain seems to focus a bit more on what I really need to do um, you know you can have 
I use a whiteboard with all my focus tips and things on, but you can have as many lists or Trello boards or whiteboards or whatever you're going to be doing with your business and, and with your, your um, virtual, virtual, virtual assistants if you have some. But at the end of the day, sometimes you just need that quiet time to really focus. So. I quite like night times. Yeah, do you know? <laughs> but yeah, I've got to wait a little bit longer for that. Do you know what, Emma? Jack goes away. My son, he goes away for the summer. He goes off to his dad. And, you know, my work schedule changed completely. I tend to, uh, you know, I'll go out quite a lot through the daytime with my sisters. And then I'll work through until like one o'clock, two o'clock at night time and I absolutely love it I know that in business I cannot work till that time of morning uh, you know one o'clock in the morning and then get up at like quarter to seven which I do in a normal day um you know so there's no way I could do that but when I haven't got to work to a time schedule I love just having a long sleep in and then you know just doing my own thing through the day working at night and it, it for me that that would be the so like the business life lifestyle that I would choose definitely um and obviously that when your kids are at school that doesn't fit in with real life does it particularly but um so that would be the awesome day, couldn't it when when they've uh, yeah when your son's headed off yeah. and you can do that I just say hi to um sci-fi funk that's a cool name <laughs> um right Emma so um what would you say, I know you sort of like touched on this already, but what would you say if you had to choose one thing, what is your favorite thing about being in business or about your business in particular? For me, it's definitely the freedom of choice, being able to pretty much plan my diary and um, I'm quite a hard taskmaster to myself. So I do have, you know, um, I push myself quite hard. Um, I've always been like that, though. So, uh, and I, you know, I like to get things done. But it's just having the freedom to choose and and being flexible, and you know, just the, creating the kind of business that I really enjoy and being able to connect with people online, which is just, you know, that's just fantastic. I love doing that. Cool. I mean, that's that. You know, the freedom of choice is definitely, you know, that that's something that's massive for me, definitely. And it is just it covers so much doesn't it because you know it's it's not following someone else's rules it's sort of making your own rules that fit with your own values as well isn't it which is also important and obviously choosing when you work as well and who you work with so it's it, I love it I think it's wonderful I can't imagine can you imagine ever going back to work for someone else no no <laughs> no <laughs> Uh, I would never, I, you know, I say I would never, you know, maybe life circumstances could make that happen at some point. But at the moment, I can't envisage myself doing that. I, it's just something that I just don't want to do. No. Um, and we're fortunate enough to, you know, I don't need to um, do that. But um, yeah, um, there's, you know, if you've got that sort of on, entrepreneurial spirit and you, you're enjoying something, you'll work so much harder for yourself. Than you probably will for anyone else so, okay, okay. Um, yeah. you know but I think you've also got to not lose yeah. track of where you're going so I think it's quite important to kind of set some goals and and you know and recognize when things aren't working as well which I know I've had to do um, before so yeah, and that can be quite hard because you know for me I have virtual assistants I don't have a business partner now I have had in the parts and that worked quite well but you know, I don't now, but basically, um, you know, it's it, you do sometimes have to kind of bring things back to reality and, and, you know, really kind of decide whether things are working or not. And ultimately, that's down to you. So, you know, you've got to be um, good at, you know, really fine tuning things as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think a lot of people obviously have coaches and, and, you know, I've had coaches in the past. I currently don't have a one on one coach, but I do um, belong to a couple of really fantastic masterclasses that I'm part of. So, again, just being able to have people to feedback ideas with if you're working on your own, you do need someone, an accountability person to actually be able to, you know, kind of get those ideas out of your head and, and decide whether they're good ones or not. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's absolutely yeah. right. Do, so one of the things, this wasn't on, on my list, but I know that, that that's just how it, it goes. Um, but 
did you when you first started when you started the academy um is did you have to like you obviously had the vision of where you wanted it to go has that vision from that time when it, it was all in your head and you were sort of planning it out and everything like that has that vision changed to where it is now through obviously you know things that have happened um, I wouldn't say it's changed. It's probably grown and altered slightly because I've got some new things that I'm working on as well. Um, I think the only thing that has changed is that some of the things that I've wanted to do haven't been as easy to set up, which can be frustrating. So I've still got um, some little issues, which we all get. Whatever, you know, if you're new to business and you've never set up a website or you've not even contemplated setting out a me membership site, you know, I've tried quite a few over the years and, and there's always something. There's no perfect solution. I know people say, oh, use this, use that. But, you know, there's always going to be little things that come up that are like, ah, you know, this isn't working for me. And last December, I moved to Infusionsoft and we've all heard how fantastic it is and also how confusing it can be. And I'm very fortunate because I've had, um, uh, I connected with someone um, through one of my uh, local business people who um, put me in touch with someone who does work on Infusionsoft. Um, so that's good. So I've got a, a you know good sort of um, solid understanding of it there now. But you know things didn't work quite the way I wanted to with some of the other systems and software that I was using. So you just have to be very um, realistic. You know, um, you you will make things happen in your business, but you know they may not always go as perfectly as you think they're going to. So, yeah, um, it things have evolved. But no, the the general kind of idea when I started the magazine, um, obviously I've run a, a business directory for mums for a long time, and I knew that that was something that I wanted to incorporate in the brand of the magazine, have a, a all encompassing. Um, website for lots of people now most people will tell you that that's actually probably the wrong thing to do um, having a product that's not very expensive and going for mass market is not easy to achieve but it depends on your values to me i'd rather be able to help people than charge like thousands and thousands of dollars um, and only deal with a few people and i don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching and that's my choice at the moment i may do that in the future but at the moment people often say oh emma you know could you help me do this or do that and the problem is if you start doing the one-on-one -on -one stuff your time suck your time's gone um you may only have say 10 hours a week that you could perhaps do one-on-ones and that's probably optimistic so therefore you know you can't be dealing with all the other things that you you want to do so i'm a little bit selfish because i kind of do what i want to do rather than perhaps you know um chasing the big dollars you know that that isn't so important to me but that's just who i am and what i like doing so <laughs> hopefully yeah that's, That's the main right. thing. And you know, you know what? I, what I found definitely is um, through through my, my courses, I have changed my course platforms. I think three times. I originally started off running my courses as um, like email courses, and I found it highly frustrating. You know, people were sort of like, you know, not doing the work that they needed to do in a certain amount of time, and I ended up just chasing people up a lot of the time. Some people were absolutely amazing at it. Some people. I, I was just spending a lot of time chasing up and it was obviously the lower price wise it was the lower end of the you know the services I pro provided at that time and I thought I knew what I wanted to do my courses and I now have all of my courses on Udemy which I absolutely love but then the other two platforms that I've used I know people who absolutely love them as well and it's just finding that service that will allow you to do what you want in your own business, isn't it? It's not that, you know, these other platforms are wrong. It's just finding the one that works perfectly for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, uh, um, absolutely. Damon, if you, yeah, he, he, I right. saw his question. Do Damon you have Dustin. live networking events in the UK? No, I don't, Damien. Um, I have helped out on some. I've been to lots. Um, being down in London, I get invited up to quite a few for women and mums in business in London. Um, but setting up any kind of network event is a huge thing. And if you're going to do that, then I wouldn't have any time to oversee or do what I'm doing with my apps and my online marketing that I like doing. So no, I don't. <laughs> um, but it, 
again, that would pull me away from my family at the moment. You know, I, in fact, one of my local um, uh, business networks, you know, they're very keen for me to take on a local branch. But it's like, yeah, I would be very good at it probably because I'm naturally quite um, supportive and talkative. And, you know, I wouldn't have a problem kind of bringing people on and connecting with people. But that wouldn't then give me the chance to do the kind of business that I want to do. And that's in my my vision. And that's that's what's my passion. And I just want to go for that. And I don't want to be distracted by other things. It's kind of like, no, no, no. So you have to exercise your no muscle, because it would be so easy when you become known a little bit and people, oh, Emma, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do that? And it's like, no, 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 because you've got to know where you're going. <laughs> Otherwise, you will just kind of wander off and think, actually, you in fact, yesterday, I won't say who it was because it's someone I know very well, but she was saying that, in fact, she found that Facebook has suddenly, um, from coming online as an entrepreneur for about three years, suddenly Facebook, she realised, was pulling her down these rabbit holes, which, in fact, were not suitable for her business um, in any shape or form because her ideal clients weren't really on here. So it's just it, you can be very easy distracted so no um if you're going to be doing networking and, and running events then that's the one sole thing i think really you need to do yeah so not online networking obviously. talking about getting distracted there i apologize yeah. my um, my dog just did a just it's like escaping act oh. <laughs> Because normally I'd sort of put him away while I was online, sort of thing, you know, doing something like this. But he's he's, he's yeah. with my son because he's off, and I've, I've sort of like he's got up, you know, to try and sort of like get him doing some normal stuff. So, um, but he's, he's just sort of like come out the room to go upstairs, and the dog came shooting through. <laughs> It's like, yeah, well, I can't engaged. hear him, and I don't know if he can hear me, but my neighbour's cutting some bushes and trees, so there's a lot of background noise here. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully not. not yet, but um, I know um, um, Damien's actually said about is the magazine online and printed. It's not a printed publication, Damien, no. Um, I actually started setting it up um, back in April 2013. It went live in October 2013. Um it's just an app it's a digital app so um i'm sure wendy will pop the link in somewhere you can um grab a free issue and go and have a look at it it's for android and ios um devices so you can look at it on your ipad or your mobile phones um but there's no um it's not one of these flicky issue type magazines it is no. purely an app but the beauty of it being an app is that there's a lot of integration so obviously just without getting too techy um things like push messages um being able to send messages out to the um subscribers and the people that download the magazine so it's very um it's still very new a lot of people have tried it a lot of people have given up because it's not um like anything you have to work at something it's not oh here i've got an app and i'm going to make loads of money and i'm going to sell lots of it you know you still have to go through all the business structures and marketing and building your presence online um, and obviously being online is still important you know even though you've got an app because not everybody will go and find it so yeah but um, it's, it's, it's great because it is digital. It enables me to even put, say, like this blab in or a YouTube video or audio. So it's very, um, you know, it makes it very interactive for the consumer and very quick because they can just kind of, you know, um, look at it on the go while they're on the tube or on a bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dog's stuck in here again. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't, can't hear him. The table. <laughs> um, so Dam Damien was asking, um, is, is the magazine just for women? Because obviously your, your target market is women, but do you have men? Do you know, it's really interesting, Damien, because obviously a lot of men are very techy, um, probably more so than women. And in fact, a lot of my... Um, magazine accountability buddies and some of the masterclass people are men um and I, when i actually check which i do regularly i'm quite um nerdy as far as stats i've got stats coming out of my ears i i have um i use one tab as wendy knows i recommended that one i think probably to wendy but um i look at my stats whether it's facebook analytics mobile action and keywords so look at that we do have quite a proportion of men downloaded the magazine and in fact I think it was my fourth issue I had a friend called Ravi who's um, a 
he was at the time really marketing and um, he's now doing customer relations more but he was on the cover and he's the only man that I've had on the cover and I would definitely not have I would definitely not not have another man but nobody else has actually come along and said I want to be on the cover but I would definitely put some nice men on there but um, the content um, has been mainly women um, I guess because that's who I've networked and marketed with online for years um, drawn to that sort of niche um, perhaps it could have been um, there's no gender bias really but that's the, the target I, the niche I picked was uh, were business women so but yeah um, I'm quite happy to share in fact I've got um, another magazine friend who um, is going to be doing some articles uh, next year so yeah so if anyone wants to write an article and you're, you're watching your man you've got something you want to put in there then let me know <laughs> and I've just kicked my bin sorry about that I did that the other day on a call it's metal made a bit of a clank um, so yeah um, and you know I, I do get down, downloads from men. So go and check it out. So I just realized I was on, I'd muted myself just for a second then when I was typing. So um, one of the things um, that goes around in sort of like, especially in the coaching world, and I know that you all have, you know, heard this so many times, Emma, is, you know, what's your why? And for me, that's a question that I don't really like that question. And it, it's one of those that it doesn't sit well with me, you know, because my why is I want to earn enough money to pay for my home and for, you know, to have a nice lifestyle and to look after my son and to buy food and, you know, to go on holiday and things like that. And I'm, I'm such a feet on the floor sort of person. And, pe you know, when people sort of say these wonderful things that they want, it, it almost doesn't resonate with me. And then I sort of feel like, oh, you know, that's, um, that's probably not a good thing then, you know, for me. You know, I, am I sort of like, you know, shallow or something? I think, oh, no, I'm not, because I definitely want to help people. I want to make a difference in the world and all those things. So for me, the question that I like to ask is, um, so I've just seen Sarah Kane jo joined. It's their first, like, oh, oh, that's really nice to have you here, Sarah. I'm so pleased that we're your first flab. Welcome. Um, so we're talking um, to Emma Burford from Business Rocks Academy today. Um, and Emma's absolutely fantastic. So, so what I was just saying is th uh, the question, why, why doesn't fit with me particularly? But I think when you ask the question, what's your passion? That changes things completely because the qualifications that I have certainly would allow me to work with a massive range of people. And... I've learned over the last sort of like five, six years that although I can do it, it's not where my passion is. And it's taken me quite a long time. And even in the last sort of 12 months, I know that the people that I want to work with are, you know, the, the people in business. My ideal client is sort of like the person who was me five years ago sort of thing. And that's where my passion is. And my passion isn't particularly, like you said, with your work, it's not particularly with the one-to-one -one coaching. I do do one-to-one -one coaching. It's mostly the accountability and productivity coaching that I do and the business planning. But all the other sorts of coaching that I have done in the past, I've sort of like windled that out now because it's not what fires me up. You know, I sort of think, yes, I get a sense of satisfaction from it, but it's not what fires me up. And I think you've got to know that. You've got to sort of like, you've got to let yourself be guided by the way that you feel about, you know, different aspects of your business. And like you say, you you would definitely be very, very good at organising and running networking events. But that would take you away from the things that you really want to do in your business. So, yeah, that's, that's yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And yeah, I definitely. think that's where you have to control your no, as I said before, because yeah, exactly. you have to really focus on what where you're going and what you need to do to get there and not let some of these little distractions, whether they be, um, you know, people ask you to do um, an online event or a, an external networking event or, or even just going and buying a product. And we're all guilty of that. And, and, wasting hours fiddling about with something that perhaps you don't really need so yeah 
Um, and Joanne's here, and this is Joanne's first um, blab as well. Okay. So, oh, that's so nice. That's Hi, two, Sarah. two people joining us for the first time. That's fantastic. I'm so pleased. I I absolutely love. Oh, my earphones are falling out. I love blab. I mean, it, you know, I know that we sort of done a couple together, Emma, and um, you you joined the um, morning business chat that I do on Fridays um, th last week, and is it a platform that you really enjoy as well yeah definitely i'll be doing more regular biz fix blabs for sure um yeah. and, and actually hooking them into a podcast at some point which is something i've been wanting to do for a long time but again you know you have to look at what your output is you know how much time do you have and what will um really give you the most visibility so but yeah I, I was pretty quick to get into blab and I know um, I watched lots so for anyone watching who hasn't tried it it's it is a really easy platform to use so when you have time perhaps maybe not in the next couple of weeks because we're all going to be really hectic and busy but um, certainly after Christmas maybe you know give it a go because it's really good it's good fun and I think certainly for the UK, because I'm looking here, probably most of us are from the UK at the moment this time of day. But, um, you know, it's still really new. So people haven't, um, you know, really got using it. So you can really you know, get a spot on here quite easily. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just going to say, actually, um, for those of you just joining me, I've just put my um, my website in the links at the side. I have a fantastic plugin that Emma actually recommended to me. And what that does is it takes the the recorded blab and it puts it straight on to my blog. So all the conversations that, you know, right from the beginning, um, we were a little late starting because I had technical issues. So you can go and actually watch the full recording there. And if I've missed any comments, which I do tend to do, I apologise. Um, I will go and read through them all once it's actually on the on the blog and reply to everybody. So that's just to let you know that you can actually find the full recording there. Right, Emma, so I'm just keeping an eye on the yeah, time. So what so I'd like to Sarah, who's in, in uh, New Zealand, time. and um, I don't think it's Brandy. I, I'm not sure of his name. Actually, it's Tim, who's in Australia. Brandy. So, yeah, so we, we're picking up yeah. the end of those of you down in the southern hemisphere it's time for bed go to sleep night night <laughs> yeah. oh, it's yeah. amazing so, i just think it's amazing that i know i mean this is so for those of you watching who haven't been doing it i mean wendy and i um chatted because at the very beginning of the conversation we talked about why basically i she asked if i'd do a blog post and i know joe um Joanne's a, a, an avid blogger, but I'm, I've never really enjoyed sitting blogging writing. That's terrible, I know, but that's not something that I always wanted to do. So we thought, right, we'll give the blab a go. And probably blabbing for interviews is um, a little bit different to if you're doing a Google Hangout and having an interview, because you've got the distraction of lots of comments going on, but it can make it more interactive. So obviously, if people got questions, then you know you can pull them into the conversation. And in fact, um, if Wendy wanted to another, at another time, she could actually open a seat and let people in. So it's a great way of actually being able to get yourself out there and actually be joining in with other people as well. So yeah, that's what we all love. Probably yeah. all of us watching, I know a lot of us here, um, you know, some of us have been using the blabs and, and um, at least watching, joining quite a lot. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing to do. Right, Emma, I'm going to finish off with... Um, do you have your, I know this is putting you on the spot a little bit, but your top three tips for anyone else in business? You know, it doesn't have to be related to your business, but what would you say would be your top three tips? Okay. Um, I, I um, would say my first one I touched on earlier, and that is definitely if you're in business and you're um, either a solopreneur or you're, you've got a, a small team, definitely have an accountability buddy outside of your business because that's invaluable for um, just someone else's eyes and I don't mean your husband or your girlfriend or you know someone else who can um, look at it um, as an external viewer and, and actually give you some good ideas and and support you when you may be having a down period um, ideally it would be another entrepreneurial business person because they get 
our kind of business rather than you know a friend or something that doesn't really get it but um definitely have an accountability buddy um i would also say um you need to think about your goals and um i do have as i mentioned again earlier i've got cello board i've got um you know i have a, a written to-do list in a book that i check off and i also use a visual whiteboard and and um move things around so i know where where things are happening but for me um it's always been about having one goal that you want to do a week and writing that down and having that very much in your doing box <laughs> and making sure you get that done whatever that may be whether it's um uh, setting up a new autoresponder or um, taking on a new VA and interviewing them or whatever it is, have one goal. I think people who have a big long list that they never seem to get to the bottom of is, is really um, soul destroying. So, and really acknowledge um, those wins and, you know, pat yourself on the back when you've actually achieved it because I don't think we spend enough time um realizing how much we've done and be you know really grateful for what you've actually achieved rather than worrying about oh i've still got all this to do you know because there will always be a list but you know just concentrate on one to keep going with um uh, i did write one more down i can't even read my writing see that's why i don't like writing i'd rather type but um <laughs> no my third tip um would be um to ask for help and ask people things and don't be scared to ask people because we're all human we all have uh, worries about things we all have um, issues and but the main thing the common denominator i think is that most people are very helpful and very approachable and i think um, my one thing the really important thing is you know not to be afraid to ask and get involved and and you'd be surprised how many people will help you so yeah, they're my three That's tips awesome. right now. So go for it. Cool. <laughs> excellent advice, excellent advice. Okay, so just obviously um, I've put the link in there for the Academy. I'm gonna just pop that in again. And from there, you can you can read the articles. Um, you, I'm sorry, I'm yeah, stalling. Yeah, basically you people want to See what I'm doing. I've got two websites. I've got the Mums Business Directory, which is www.mumsbusinessdirectory.com, and that's for um, mums and business owners who want to connect with their ideal audience. Audience being a mum, and um, I've also got the Business Rocks website, which is www.businessrocks.co, co, not a dot com. And you'll find all the things that I've got on there: the academy, the magazine, and uh, I've got this new app that I'm working on. So in the new year, that will be going up there as well. So yeah, you can find me um, on on either of those. If you've got any anything you want to ask me, just pop me an email off the site, and I'll usually get back to you within sort of twenty four. 48 hours i'm just trying to find the link so i can put the link in for the yeah you can pop well, it in afterwards if yeah, yeah i can pop that, pop that in in the um oh i've got it here mm -hmm. and damien's saying i always recommend giving it a huge tick yeah i mean it is that's the thing it's so important when we have um something that we've achieved and, and recognizing that we've done it because I think so many people, um, it's it's not easy out there. If anyone says you're going to go out there and create a seven million dollar seven figure business, you know you have to put a lot of work in, and uh, it also takes a little bit of luck. And you also have to um, acknowledge and you know really be pleased with yourself for taking those little steps further forward, because it's a learning process. So yeah, lots to learn. Well, it it definitely is. I mean, I definitely. But I definitely recommend that everyone go and check out Emma's um, Academy and obviously for the mums in business, um, definitely go and check out the um, mums business directory. Emma just put so much into, into both of these, into the, into the Academy, into the magazine as well. And it, it's just something that gets better and better and better. So I, you know, I, I can personally recommend anything that Emma does. <laughs>
<laughs> and also, oh, thank you, Wendy. Well, likewise too. I know you, you oh, give a lot you. of support with your community with what you do as well, and, and that's the thing. I think probably we all do. You know, we all have fantastic things that we can share with people out there. So you know, it's all about connections, and as I said earlier, being visible, and that's why we chose to do the blab because. You know, it's it's um, great to sit and read an article. You know, I could have written an article. I'm not, you know, I can write, but you know, it it just is sometimes nicer to actually see and hear what these people are like. You know, what am I like? So this is me, and yeah, thank you, Wendy. Really enjoyed oh, it. No, it's been you're great fun this morning, even with um, our little blip I mean, at the beginning. I know, I know. I, it, it is. I think the two of us, when we're on together, we we must be jinxed or something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not I'm anymore. Quite sure what happened. I think actually, do you know what happened? Um, because when I because I couldn't get my sound at the beginning for anyone who is just joining us or anything, I couldn't get the sound on my microphone. Everything was set up as it normally is, and I've done quite a few blabs now. But um, no, Emma couldn't hear me. Couldn't, there was no sound at all. So what I ended up doing was completely restarting my computer, and I think. For me, um, that's certainly worth doing. I think for everyone, restart your whole system, you know, probably like half an hour or so before you actually start the blab and just make sure everything's up to speed and obviously check your settings for the microphone that you want and for the camera that you want. Um, so oh, another um, person joining us for the first time, it's uh, DRJ, Dr. J, I'm not quite sure. So hello, welcome. Uh, we're actually just about to finish. Um, we we wanted to be finished before the top of the hour. And if anybody's got any really, really quick questions that they just want to type in, um, I'm not going to open up the seat um, just because we are we, we are needing to finish today before the top of the hour. So um, any last any, things that you, you want to say? If anyone wants to do a blab with either Wendy and myself in the future, I know um, Joanne I've known for years and she's a, she's saying here she... The thought of doing interviews freaks me out, but um, you'd be fine, oh, Joanne. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> do, do you know, easier. I think I, th I think the Blab platform is a lot easier. You know, I've done interviews, and and I don't like doing interviews particularly when I it's just you know I can hear someone and I can't see them, so I don't particularly like the audio interviews um, because you can't see the reaction of the other person. I can't see you know, when it's my time to start speaking or, you know, anything like that. So I don't personally enjoy the one-to-one -one interviews. And you know what? When I think back, certainly, so like, you know, 2011 time, I can remember getting loads and loads and loads of requests to do interviews. And I wanted to do them. And I would make, I would create something to, so that I couldn't do it, you know, but something would happen, like, you know, the roof would fall down or something, you know, so I can't possibly do it because the roof's fallen down. <laughs> Didn't quite happen that way. But you know what I mean? I, in my head, I created these things that would stop me from doing the interviews. And, you know, people must have got really frustrated with me at the time because I'd say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And then I'd find an excuse where I couldn't do it. Because I was so afraid that I was going to sound stupid or I was going to look stupid or people would think, what on earth is she talking about? And do you know what? <laughs> people probably still think that now, but, you know, I don't care anymore because I just think, you know, the right, pe the right people hear your message, don't they? Yeah. And I think what, what I like about Blab is that it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it's a formal interview. It just feels like we're just chatting really is that how you feel emma yeah i think so i i think it could depend who you're talking to though so um i know i was once fortunate enough to interview mari smith on a skype call without camera and i have to say it was only a very short it was a very short call i actually had a coaching call and i, I had a couple of questions and that was quite intimidating and yet i know her online really well but to actually be like, so that could have been the visual thing. You're right, I hadn't thought of that, but it was a Skype without the, the um, 
video elements. So that was hard. So, yeah, I mean, we know each other, so that makes it really easy. But I do think that generally at the moment, most of the people on Blab are out there experimenting and trying and we all kind of appreciate that things don't always go right and you know so you have to give it a go but just going back to your point about 2011 you were saying about not wanting to be interviewed and that's what's quite interesting I think as you get uh I don't know if it's older and wiser but as you you know go down that sort of path you kind of almost have to recognize what you don't like doing what you're not good at so if you really don't like doing it just don't do it. Just say no to start with. But to start out with, if you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do interviewing, then you just have to find someone like either myself or Wendy and just just talk and, and go mm -hmm. through the motions. Because I think the more you do it, it becomes second nature and being on camera, it's it's not as scary as you think it is. So No, yeah. it's definitely not as cool. scary. And yeah, and I'm definitely up for doing more so like interviews. Um I have my um morning business chat at the moment it's on a friday so i've got this week's and next week's then that is going to just stop right over the christmas period and then going to jump back in again i i don't know what day i'm going to do it on after christmas um friday was the day that worked well for me at the moment but then after christmas it might be a different day i'm not quite sure but you know what if anyone is nervous about getting on camera Come and check that out. We're at 10 a.m. UK time, um, say the next two Fridays at least. Um, and just jump into a hot seat. I, I just go on at 10 o'clock on my own. And if anyone wants to jump in the seats, they can do. And you can just jump in, say a quick hello, and then go again, sort of thing. And it just will help you to sort of like, take that first step into getting into doing blabs or to doing live interviews anything like that so you know everybody's welcome to jump in there if they want to okay so I'm going to say we've got two minutes <laughs> before the top of the hour so I'm going to say um thank you very much to Emma and it's been lovely chatting to you Emma you, I, I love you to bit she's just such an inspiration to me because you you know you're a real person you're genuine you made me blush, Wendy. No, Shush. No, no, you are, but you are. I, I definitely connect with people who I think are a real, you know, they're real people, they're really genuine, and they want other people to succeed. So I just, I think you're amazing. You're brilliant. So definitely oh, everyone go and well, check out the links for Emma, and you can find the full interview on the, uh, the blog. So I'll just pop uh no thank you wendy it. okay so i'm going to say bye then emma take care and i'll speak to you soon bye bye okay everyone so i hope you enjoyed that um that interview with emma emma is absolutely fantastic so definitely go and check out you know the mum's um business directory and the um the Business Rocks Academy and, and the magazine, because Emma just puts in so much work. I'm just going to finish off. Um, I'm just going to put the link so that you can come and watch the, the whole replay if you want it. That goes straight onto my blog once I'm finished. I think I think it takes a few minutes um, to, to get that sorted for it to upload onto the blog. But you can come and watch the whole blog. And if you would like to join me on Friday, 10 a.m. UK time for the morning business chat, it is there's no agenda, there's no fixed topic. It's just a place where you can come have a chat about business and sometimes the conversations go a little bit random um but um it's a nice place to hang out because sometimes when you work from home especially it can get a little bit lonely so thank you again to emma lovely to have you with me and i would say bye have a great week bye <laughs>